last week. Okay, well, we have a clip here uh, from Highgate, Vermont, that we did uh, where Ed met uh, a, a favorite of, of ours here on Wrestling Talk. Axe! The beautiful Brittany show... Brown. You said you were going to show Axe I'm today. Not, I'm not show... You said you were going to show Axe today. I'm not... Well, let's go to Brittany Brown you... and see... Evo, do not go to Brittany... Yes, he's going to go to it right now. Hey, Ed. What? There's somebody here that you know. What now, Lynn? What do you mean, what now? Don't you want to see a friend of Wrestling Talk? Sure, bring him, bring him in. And here she is, the beautiful Brittany Brown, along with her manager, Don Bartzini. How you doing? How you doing? Haven't Good seen you, you for a while. Yep. Don Bartzini, I don't believe we've had the pleasure. You always should have this pleasure. I am the best manager in professional wrestling today. Okay. I don't believe uh, I've heard of you. You've never heard of me with two champions in the England Wrestling Federation? You haven't heard of me? Brittany Brown, undefeated in the England Wrestling Federation ranks, and Hades, the Vermont champion, I manage them both, yeah. all undefeated. Okay. How come you're here by yourself? Well, Ed's right here. What are oh. you talking about? <laughs> I didn't see you. Hey, anybody. Brittany, did you get that from a flea market or what? What you get from a flea market? What are you talking about, my yeah, Let me tell you something well, right here. Tell me the something. Last I'll tell you something. The last title she won, a referee was paid off. Now this title here, obviously the different. Paid off. Who was paying the referee off? You paying the referee off? I don't pay anybody you off. I'm here to do a job. Like this, you don't come to the England Wrestling Federation and tell people. How do you say it? You got proof? What are you? Are you a wait judge? Wait, 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 what are you a lawyer? Wait, wait, get out of here. Step aside here. Wait, 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 step aside. Hold on here. See, that's, see. that's the belt right there. No one's taking that. This woman's bust fell off against his head when he accused yeah, that's me. That's a stone head. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. The last time. You want to start again, big boy? Now, I'm Brittany, calm down, Brittany. We'll be inside and out, wimp. You heard an interview concluded. Down. Bye, Lynn. And that was our first interview with the beautiful Brittany Brown, along with her new manager, Don Bartzini, up in the NEWF country in Vermont, Highgate, Vermont, to be exact. Now, we did another interview with Brittany the next day, August 15th, Liberty Tree Mall, where the IWF was appearing, and Ed really... He just couldn't control himself. He has to always bring up this thing about referees and cheating and stuff like that. And, wait a minute. Well, I wait see you're back again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lynn. I'm just going to... I'm going to... Why can't you keep, like... Why can't you keep these I confrontations... Thirsty. I just want to get no. some drink, Lynn. No. You couldn't stay and be professional enough to watch that interview with Brittany Brown. The one with Axe? No, the one with Brittany Brown. <laughs> Well, you and Brittany had yet another one of your confrontations. No confrontations here. See, what you have to understand about Brittany Brown is I'm not going to get upset. I'm not upset, Lynn. Uh -huh. I went out. I got something to drink. I'm, I feel good. This is called denial. Denial. In, it's in no denial here. Term. What I can't denial is what I can't deny is that the lady is the champion. But again, I'm not going to step on her reputation, saying that she is. I can't say these words on TV. Um. She's a champion, but she didn't win it fairly. The NEWF, she didn't win fairly. The IWF, I know for a fact that she paid a referee off, and that's where I I'm just want to ask you, okay? You, you, you've never said these things to any other wrestler but her. There are, there are plenty of other wrestlers that win unfairly. It just bugs me that the woman has such an attitude problem, okay? Whether it's with wrestling talk or with me. She seems to like you, Len. What's up with that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. oh, there's something there. I'm telling you. The lady needs an attitude adjustment, okay? And I think that this Alexa, Alexia Star, Alexa, Alexa Star, yeah. thank you, Leonard, is just the woman who's going to do it because she's rough, she's tough, she may be new, but she's got what it takes and she's hungry. And as I said in the last interview, and maybe, Len, I'll let you show that interview next week. I'll give you the tape back. And you can show the folks how I was blindsided, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll just look at right here. Uh -huh. Just look at the side of my face, all bruised, okay? That's from Brittany Brown, okay? That is because she hit me with a loaded object. But why must you take sides, one wrestler against the other? That's what brings these things on. Because I you hate, hate the woman. I hate her. Why? Why? I've been kicked. I've been punched. I've been but, slammed. But I've been that, slapped. What I've been up to this? What, what led up to it? It, all started, it, out of the it all started, what, a year ago, Len? Yeah. When you first had her into the studio, I yeah. thought she was a, a, a super lady. Uh-huh. I'd seen her wrestle. I had no idea that she was like this outside of the ring. I never would have had her on the show. But you started accusing her of cheating for her championship, so A she's... referee called up. 
Yeah, I remember that. All right? Actually called the show. Actually called the show. <laughs> and she denied that he was even a referee. This was at Medford when we did this. This was, no, this first time was at Lynn. No, but we, we can't have calling in Lynn anymore. This was a long yeah, time ago. This was ago. in Medford, in Medford. When somebody called Yes, it was Medford. And then what did she do? She slaps me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to cry. That's I'm when Chris Duffy was on the show. I'm I not going to be a cry. Yes, it was. When they were tagged. And, the, and he led friends. me off camera like on a wild goose chase or something. Yeah. Yes. And then that's remember about your car, Lane? I remember oh, yeah, that. Yeah, it was a real, they're, they're real game players, those two. Yeah, I see that. The IC match. The IC match. Oh, okay, the IC match. Okay, the We're a little rusty. We'll here, do that. That's all right. After this interview, we're going to go to this interview with the bulldozer that we did in the IWF, and uh, that's kind of scary, actually. Boy, is he big. <laughs> kind of scary. Well, let's go to that right now. Six foot ten, and how much do you weigh? 505 pounds. 505 pounds, the bulldozer. And I hear he's got a manager. Well, here he comes now. <laughs> Court jester. Court Jester is the name. I hope that clears up the confusion. You sound like, ow, you sound like the Riddler. Who? The Who? Riddler, you know, the guy on Batman. TV, this isn't the movies, okay? We got an important match today against this, this, this drunken Irishman here. Tim McNee, I think his name is, all right? That's racial, you can't say that stuff. That's not racial, that's, that's national. That's terrible. The man's six foot ten, he can say anything. Well, he's saying it, not him, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'll relax <laughs> Okay. Uh, Y'all relax now. Oh, okay. Okay, that's great. What we're going to do here is the tree surgeon, a.k.a. Bulldozer, is going to shred this guy from limb to limb. Then he's going to shred him up, okay? He's going to just tear him up and shred him up. That's going to be it. Okay. Uh, now, what sort of training regimen do you have the bulldozer under? Yeah. Anything he wants. I'm not going to try to get this guy mad. Do I look crazy? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know. That might be debatable. What, what is this? Of the hat? You really think you are a jester? This is my attitude okay. toward my role as his manager. I see. Okay? I take things light. I don't oh. get too serious about anything, all right? That's nice. The rules, nah, yeah, they're there to bend. You obey the law, bend the rules. You know oh, what I'm oh, saying? Oh, you mean the wrestling rules? Well, of course. This is well, a wrestling show, right? I mean, wrestling rules are there to protect people in the ring and people in the crowd, and, and, and rules are made to be obeyed. When? <laughs> hey, this guy makes Don't break in such a Brady Bunch okay. role here. Let's just... Um, <laughs> do you have anything to say, Mr. Bulldozer? This kid here came here to wrestle tonight. I came here to win. I'm going to rip his heart out. Okay, well... <laughs> Simply put... A very uh, unique uh, combination, the bulldozer with the court jester... Let's go back to the studio. And that was the bulldozer and the court jester and uh, quite a unique combination, as I said, on the tape. Boy, that court jester, I'll tell you something. Where did they dig him up? I have no idea. I, I, I must have been out of my mind questioning the uh, tactics with the bulldozer standing behind us. The man stands <laughs> almost seven feet tall and he's got a hand bigger than your skull. Yeah. And you question his tactics. That match was quite a match later he, on. He... <laughs> he... <laughs> Like a bulldozer, he ran right over Tim McMeany. Special right. thanks to Walter Killer Kowalski for providing us access to all those wrestlers. Uh, we also interviewed Superfly Jimmy Snooker and his manager. Uh, ah, see, you forgot his name. See, but that's all right, because we can forget the moron's name, because that's what he is, okay? Mr. Rodeo. The Metal Maniac. No, Rodeo. Snooker's manager is the Metal Maniac. Rodeo is the manager of, of Perry, Saturn. Well, then Rodeo's been feeding me a lot of crap because he told me he was the manager. Well, well we interview Johnny Rodeo is a very strange man, and he's a very strange manager, and I didn't really take to him too well. No, I You asked me if I wanted to fight him, as a, as a matter of fact. Well... Because you, you thought that I was getting... Well, you were really... Clock. You want know what it is? You even said I'm bigger than you. He is. He's a scrawny little guy that you could blow away. He reminds you a lot of the Grand Wizard. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, we had to yeah. so many people that day yeah. that it's, it's, it's very It's tough confusing. to keep up with. But I have to admit one thing, that this, the, the interview with Jimmy the Superfly Snooker mm. is one that you will never forget. Yeah. And it's an excellent one. That interview will show on the next show. Mm -hmm. um, or oh, one of the upcoming shows. On one shows. of the upcoming shows. I <laughs>